What's going on everybody? It's Game Boy Swag. So today I'm going to be showing y'all my interactive multi-game demo disc version 14. The It's a not for resale kiosk disc on my Nintendo GameCube kiosk. Alright, so let's pop it in. All right, let's grab one of these controllers. All right, so let's start off. We got Custom Robo, Mario Kart, 007, Everything or Nothing, Mega Man Anniversary Collection, I Ninja, Sims Bustin' Out, Need for Speed Underground, NBA Street, Custom Robo, Final Fantasy The Crystal Chronicles, Metroid Zero Mission, which is a GameCube, I mean a Game Boy game, Pokemon Coliseum, Sonic Heroes, a Pokemon Special Gift, and yep, that's it. So uh, you can play some demos. They got the demos are Custom Robo, Mario Kart. 007's a movie, 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 movie. So a bunch of movies, a few demos, Sonic Heroes demo, and this is a link. Demo, demo. Let's see, let's find a good. So this is the Pokemon Coliseum. Pokemon Coliseum. Um, let's see this um, Mega Man demo. That really sounds like the Pokemon music, to be honest. So that was the Mega Man 10th anniversary. Here's a few uh, more advertisements on the kiosk, by the way. But this is good. But this one's awesome.
Custom Robo trailer. Wow, that game looks amazing. I've never played that game. I've definitely got to try it now. GameCube. All right, let's just do one more. Let's do this Metroid Zero Mission. sick game. And let's just see what this special gift is about. So this is a berry program update. This program will update Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire game data, such as data that causes berries to grow improperly after the update. You will receive a special rare colored Zigzagoon. To receive a Zigzagoon, you must meet the following conditions. Otherwise, only the berry program will be updated. You need to at least have one or more extra spaces in your party, and you have to have received Trico, Mudkip, or Torchic. So I guess it's like a shiny Zigzagoon. So you have to insert a Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire game pack into the Game Boy Advance system and connect the GameCube Game Boy Advance cable. Then turn your Game Boy Advance on. I guess I'll have to do that in another video. So stay tuned for that.